Lionar versus Abyssian, we're going first. Alright, uh, this seems fine. We'll keep it. First turn, Windblade. Second turn, maybe a Tempest. Maybe Draining Wave, depending on what the opponent plays. I'll just go forward and play a Windblade and end our turn. Alright, so we got two Trinity Oats, which we don't really need. We need one, but not two. Sphere of Darkness on me, probably. Oh, on the Shadow Creep. Or, I mean, on the, on the Mana Spring, not. It makes the Shadow Creep. Alright, another Sphere of Darkness, all the card draw. It's fine. So let's replace this Trinity Oath. And we got a Sun Bloom. We have three mana. We can get four. Let's see. So I mean, these two can trade. Uh, I can't. I think this is a Shadow Creep deck. I'm not sure. But uh, let's just go down here. So let's just go up one so we don't get hit by the Shadow Creep again, and we'll just move this down so those these two will trade. And then we can just play the Sunforce Lancer back here. Wind we'll our turn. Alright, Silvergard Knight. So these two trade, that's fine. Spawns uh, Shadow Creep on the old place where the Windblade was, so that's fine. I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's probably gonna get the Mana Spring. I'll probably just Tempest Heal. Shadow Sister Kalino, that's a thing that I have to spell. But I mean, he can't play anything else, so that's good. So, uh, we can't get the mana, sadly. I mean, we can if we do a Draining Wave. That'll just put us more in the hole. But I mean, every time he heals up, uh, with the Shadow Sister, I get an attack, so I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, so let's just attack the person first. He'll get a Shadow Sister charge, and I can heal up, get another charge. And we'll just do a heal. Then we can just uh, keep the Shadow Sister there, because it, it'll, it's turning out to be very beneficial for us for now. And we'll just place Hurgar Knight there to provoke the general. And then we'll attack for 5, he's gonna take 4, we're gonna gain a, an attack so it gets 6, so it, it slowly increases, so we'll just end our turn, see how that goes with the Shadow Sister. I mean, in a way it's helping us, but I don't know if he has a dispel, but he's probably gonna ping punish the Sunforge Lancer, so... Rook Sunforge Lancer. Yep, there's the punish. So we do, we have 7 attack total from the Shadow Sister, so I guess that's worth it, maybe? But I mean, but now we have to, we have to kill that thing. So but let's see what we can do. We have seven attack. I mean, we can just draining wave. We don't have our bloodborne spell, so uh, we can't really use that yet. So we can just do a sun bloom uh, on that. So because that's kind of useless right now. I mean, he still has a abyssal crawler, but we can kill that with a tempest. Uh, but let's just do ten damage to the opponent first. And then we'll just uh, play a scintilla back here and our turn. We got a circle of life. Spectral Revenant, out my face. Yeah, he's gonna attack the scintilla, kill that thing. I'll take four. Can he kill the Silver Guard Knight though? That's the thing, because he has zero mana and he's at ten. So I don't know. So yeah, I think we got lethal. Yep, he conceded. I mean the the Shadow Sister really helped us there. I don't know why he played it, uh, knowing that I had a Sunfire Slasher out there, and the Spectral Revenant just killed the Scintilla. But I guess overall in the end, uh I mean yeah, it really the Spectral Revenant 
we really didn't do much other than kill the scintilla, but we had enough to do lethal with regardless without the scintilla anyway. So yeah, that was that was a that was a weird match, interesting match.